Hi, it's Chris from Hexamatic. In this short tutorial, I want to show you some advanced strategies using our Scraping Recipe Builder so that you can tackle more complex projects and handle websites which um, either have HTML or JS, which prevents you from uh, crawling the data. So let's create a new Scraping Recipe, and I'm going to show you how you can use this. So normally, when you're uh, scraping a page, um, you can use the automatic selectors. So in this case, I can click the title here, select all, and this will find me all the uh, product uh, titles, or in this case, all the blog listing titles um, from, a, from a page. And you can select, for example, if it's text. So this is the automatic way that Axomatic finds data on a page. Sometimes it doesn't quite work out. Sometimes uh, the HTML or JS used in a, in a website prevents it from happening. So what you can do is you can use um, CSS selectors instead. So to do this, simply open the page you want to scrape using, uh, for example, here, Google Chrome. Um, Right-click on the element you want to capture. Then go um, Inspect Element. And then what you want to do is you right-click on the HTML, select Copy, and Copy Selector. Then go back to um, the Scraping Recipe Builder, click on Add Custom Element, and here we're going to call it Title v2. Here we want capture text and we're going to copy paste the HTML selector we got from Google Chrome. And this is going to show us our sample value. Now you will notice that in this case it only finds one element. So to fix this click on edit and we're going to remove, remove this part. So the great thing about uh, custom elements and also um, when you select an element automatically is that you can edit them. So if you click edit, you can edit the selector if it's a custom element or if it's an automatically selected element, you can click edit go on HTML selector, and you also have access to the CSS selector. So you can make changes to it if you're not able to capture the field you need. So I hope this was useful. Um, this will open up a whole bunch of possibilities because if we're not able to detect a field automatically or select it, then uh, you can actually go into the code using uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari and actually use uh, the, um, uh, the built-in tools in Chrome to find the element and copy the CSS um, selector directly. So I hope this was useful. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, if you have any other ideas for more tutorials. Have a great day ahead. Bye for now.